Hi, Dr. Evangelist Milanats at Kinetic Health. Today we'll be discussing the wet foot test. It's a screening test. Basically, it'll demonstrate and it'll show us what type of arch a uh, particular foot has. In this case, we'll be uh, demonstrating with Leanne today. Uh, I'd like to talk a little bit about foot mechanics uh, before we start. We always hear the terms pronation and supination, and, and one thing to really keep in mind is that those are normal foot mechanics. All of us pronate and supinate. Uh, basically, when we're walking, our foot will hit the ground, the heel will strike first, the foot rolls forward and tends to turn slightly inward as the arch collapses, and that, that's shock absorption, and that's what we refer to as pronation. When your foot rolls slightly back and then you push off, that's what we call supination. So, really important key motions to absorb shock and, and generally to help propel you forward and, and, you know, keep the foot in alignment, hip in alignment, it's, it's basic foot mechanics. So what we'll be looking at today is different impressions that we'll be making here on the, the, the paper. And by analyzing what the foot looks like, we'll be able to, to categorize the arches into three basic uh, classes. One being a normal arch, a flat foot, or a high arch. So when we're looking at a normal arch, basically um, you'll have a nice impression of the foot. The arch itself will probably be about uh, half the width of your foot. And that's basically telling us that, you know, it's supporting the foot, you're hitting with your heel, and you're pushing off with your toes. If it were a flat foot, the impression we get on the piece of paper would be quite a wide, flat impression. And that's telling us that you're hitting the ground with the outside part of your heel, you tend to roll too much inward, over pronating, the arch flattens out, and you're not absorbing the shock the way you would as you propel yourself forward. And the last one would be the, the high arch. And the impression that we're going to see is, would be, um, a heel and a ball of the foot and some impressions of the toes but the arch itself would appear as a very thin stripe or, or not at all and that's telling us as you hit the ground you're really not rolling inwards or pronating not absorbing the shock your foot rolls to the outside as you push off that's and so that's you mm -hmm. ah, good to know so and another thing about this test is we're not just analyzing foot motion but it's going to give you an indication as to what type of shoe you might want to buy if you're a runner uh, we do know that certain arches uh, have a higher probability of plantar fasciitis, for example, or other foot uh, problems. So, great screening test and, and, you know, a great tool to use if you're planning on doing uh, various exercises or, or working out. It'll help you kind of focus in on maybe what you need to strengthen, what you need to stretch, and, you know, balance things out. So, what we're going to do is demonstrate now. We're going to demonstrate the wet foot test now. So we're going to have Leanne uh, stand yeah, and place your foot in the basin of water, perfect. And what you really want to make sure you're doing is you're getting the whole sole of your foot, the bottom of the foot, wet. Okay, great. Now place it down on paper. We're going to hold it for a few seconds to make a nice impression. Nice, perfect. And then we're going to do both sides. That's something to remember. We're always comparing left and right. And definitely doing this in a weight-bearing uh, stance because you want to make sure you're you're getting an image that's, you know, telling us basically, you know, the effect of, of the body weight and the, the pressure that's being put through the arch and the heel and the forefoot. Okay. Nice. So now we've got uh, two nice impressions here. I don't know if you can see this. And, you know, looking at Leanne's left and right foot, they're, they're quite symmetrical. Um, looking at this, you can definitely see that she uh, has high arches, so she would fall into the category of over supination. And that's evident because we can see the forefoot the heel, and then a nice thin line here which indicates the lateral arch. Okay, so uh, if this were a normal impression, that would fall into the category of a, of a normal arch, what we would see is an arch in the middle that's about half the width of the foot, and if it were a flat foot, this entire space here that was kind of empty would be filled. You'd get an impression of, of, of the foot with no distinguished uh, arch between the heel and the forefoot. And so this gives us great information. If Leanne were to go out and get uh, some, some runners, uh, you know, she would definitely want a neutral shoe, something that's going to promote pronation because she's excessively turning to the outside, supinating. So you'd want something with a nice flexible uh, midfoot and, you know, normal cushioning. If it were a, a flat foot, you'd want something that would offer some stability, motion control, because you want to limit the amount of, of pronation as the foot turns inward. And if it were a normal foot, you know, once again, a neutral shoe, maybe a little bit of support along the, the medial side to prevent injury and normal cushioning. Uh, another good point here to, to consider is if Leanne were considering getting orthotics, you know, the reason we're comparing left and right foot is because the feet aren't mirror images of each other. 
There could be subtle differences, or in some cases, a distinct difference between left and right. So if you're picking up orthotics off the shelf, they're not really correcting for those subtleties between the two feet. So that's just one thing to remember. Great. No, it's a real simple test to perform, and you can get a lot of information.